Yo guys, welcome back to some World of Warships. Today we're going to be playing the Scharnhorst. Uh, I'm gonna do this as a ship request, mostly because I wanted to play the Scharnhorst a lot today. Wanted to see how it plays this week. I haven't played it in years, I think. And for whatever reason, I just got it in my head, I have to try this thing out. Last time on Ship Request, we looked at the Alvaro de Bazan. And while I really appreciate the uh, comments underneath that video talking about a few of the things I brought up there, we didn't actually get that many requests for ships and that really was uh, made it difficult to get another ship request out. So I'm just going to play a Sharnhorst. I think this is a pretty fun ship from years past. Uh, it's certainly not the most meta ship today, but we will try and make it work. I got a bit of a brawling build going here, but in the description or the comments of this video, Please request whatever ship you want to see next, and then I will play whatever is most upvoted. That is rather important for this series to continue. We are doing a full secondary build here. This buff to the German battleships happened a while ago, but the tier 7s benefited a lot from the commander skill changes, where the range on the secondaries got increased to 9.5 kilometers. I believe it was 8 kilometers previously. Uh, was much lower, so a pretty massive range increase. And of course, we did get the nerf to secondaries here where we don't actually get the full accuracy right off the bat. It takes 45 seconds to gain it. But on tier seven, the range upgrade here makes a big difference. I'm also gonna go close quarters expert. We just have to go fire prevention, but a very all out DPM brawling build. And we're gonna see how it performs today. But uh, again, let me know what you want to see in the comments down below next, and then that is what I'll play next time I make a ship request series. So let's jump into a few games and have some fun. So jumping into our first game here, we got ourselves an Omaha, which is always a good sign for a tier 7 ship, finding ourselves against tier 5s. And the other thing we see here is the new map. Well, it's not exactly new, but... I haven't really been able to play it on this channel before, so we get to see what the Seychelles map looks like. I've only played on it once before on stream, and it went okay, I suppose. Uh, nothing too special here. I think the way the maps are laid, or the islands are laid out, don't really promote a ton of pushing or any sort of reasonable cover at all, but... It is based on a real location, so that is something, I suppose. Uh, let's see if we can finish off this Omaha here. That'd be really good for us. We got our secondaries on the DD. Getting that reload buff currently. There we go. We do finish off the Omaha. It feels pretty good. And secondaries going away here. Charnors, man. It's, it's been a while. I should play this thing more. Mid-tiers maybe are a little more opportunity to push, as you can see here. We're kind of just charging in. Trying to make some of the stuff happen. Uh, we'll have to watch out for a submarine in this one yet, but we're okay for now, I think. Unfortunate, the DD here is going to get away, or at least out of our secondary range. Makes it a little awkward. Ooh, even a Byron over here. All right. Unlikely we get the cap, but may as well try. And I'd love to get into secondary range with this Baron. That'd be really fun. Sharnhorst, of course, has the small guns, 380... 280 millimeter guns, sorry, not 300. 280 millimeter guns. They're okay. <laughs> the accuracy can be a little bit uh, unfortunate at times. Having lower shell damage can also be not amazing. Which I should have my secondaries on this guy here. Try and finish off the DD. Okay, good hit. That said, accuracy bad? Maybe not. We get six hits there. That's kind of hilarious. Come on, secondaries. You can do it. Do I have to shoot? Really? No, this one's got him, right? Oh, so close. One of them has to hit him, right? I want the secondary kill. Come on. No. Surely. There we go. Good stuff. 
Good stuff. Oh, this Baron's got to deal with the sub, unfortunate for him. But, you know, with this map, we do have the opportunity here to get behind uh, cover on this island in particular. It's all right. We haven't even lost that much health for a Sharnors that pushed rather aggressively, so that's kind of cool. Let's see if we can't get ourselves our front guns online here. Finish off this Baron. Although maybe I didn't want to finish him off just yet. Possibly I wanted to wait. We do have Luchins, so if we can get ourselves another couple secondary hits, we'll get some more DPM. Not a bad start, honestly. Okay, there we go. Finally found the Sinoth. Really looking for this Devonshire or the Grom here. That would be a good find. Close range with the secondaries, maybe. Long range, we're probably yeah, not going to be able to do much to a Sinop broadside. Even though he does have a Citadel. Not to guarantee. There we go. We found the DD. You going to slow down? Possibly. Oh, he slowed down way faster than I thought. All right. That's fine. We don't actually need to stay here. So we can accelerate. Even if we get lit on fire, it's not too big a deal. Try and say hello to this Devonshire here. Small caliber guns. Not great into battleship broadsides, but cruiser broadsides. That's where we're doing big damage. That feels pretty good. I don't want to fight a Synop Kiting, though, so I'm actually going to run over to the other side of the map here and maybe get some damage in on this Atlanta or maybe try and help on this Synop Strasburg here that are kind of wrecking our team in the middle. Okay, Mr. Atlanta, you do have very little armor, so assuming accuracy, <laughs> hopefully we can do something here. Oh, look at these ASWs. Wow, what a weird drop pattern. Maybe that's just the perspective, but that was funny looking. I'm not sure we'll hit. That thing isn't actually accurate, but... Oh, splash damage, all right. Do get ourselves a little bit. The ship is on fire. Hmm. Okay, got that fire right away. Try and help on this Devonshire some more. Nice, even get a Citadel again. It's very good for us. And even though this Atlanta's closer, I do want to help finish this guy off. It's a pretty big target. No, he's turning out. I should have seen that. Poor shot here, I think. Yeah, poor shot. We might be on our way to getting one shot here by the DD. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> or the sub. My bad. The sub. Atlanta, pretty low HP at the moment, so possibly we can finish him off here. Ooh, I'm about to be broadside to those battleships. All right, we will rep that so those torps don't hit us. Try and finish Atlanta. Yeah, we need to be angled to these guys. So he's over there somewhere. Problem solved, sir. We might be able to if we get this sub here, this this might be okay. Just have to kill the sub somehow. Also ideally I'd love to say hello to this cruiser some more. A little sad I haven't been able to do more to him. I just said it all, that's good. Strasburg here. Finishers, hopefully. No shatters. Please, guys. Okay, we do get him. Nice. Very good. Now we gotta deal with this Sinop. I mean, Charnor is looking pretty good, huh? Okay, maybe I need to play this tier in this thing a little more. This is hilarious. It is good matchmaker, of course, having, uh, not having to deal with the uh, carriers, right? 
sure there is a sub, but oh no, New Orleans turned in front of us. That's not great. Well, I'm sorry, my friend. I think Synops probably got him here. Oh, are we eating subtorps now too because of this? Uh oh. That's not great. No, we don't eat them. Okay. Let's go. We do need to get a move on, though. Yeah, this is not a good spot for us. Oh, we're doing no damage to his, his ship. That sucks. Ouch. Too bad. Maybe we would have been able to dodge some more of this incoming damage if we didn't uh, have to stop here, but it happens. Hey, there's Luchins. Uh, those are going to force me... Actually, no. The Okay. No, you know what? Some good, some bad. Our teammate body blocking for us, but now we're broadside to a Synops Alpha. Oh, <laughs> yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Synops kind of good at this tier, but 140? That's pretty good. Our team just wasn't there for that one, and that happens. But that is a great Sharnors game. Lots of fun. Unfortunate does end in defeat, but that is the new map, or new-ish map. Not a bad Sharnors game, honestly. I had a lot of fun with that one. All right, getting into our next one here. I got what I was kind of hoping for. Not if I was trying to have the best possible time in Charnors, but we do find ourselves in a bit of tier nine matchmaker and we do find ourselves against a carrier as well. Not good for us, but we'll try and make it work anyway. Ooh, fast cruiser here. Uh, it's difficult to play this thing into tier 9, especially brawling things out. Not the easiest thing to do. Okay, and if you're not getting damage as well, <laughs> that does make it a little trickier. But Charnorse does okay into this. The faster reload than a normal battleship helps a lot. Um, you can almost play it like a cruiser. You can always uh, swap over to HE, try to HE spam stuff down, something like that. But other than that, it's... A little difficult, certainly. Hmm, and there is an Illinois over here. Hmm, we're we're in some trouble here as a team. Kind of everybody came here, and now we're losing A pretty badly. So this probably won't go too well for us, but we do have to try. Don't want to just sit at the back and do nothing. Oh, that's unfortunate with those torps. I should have known. It's a pretty common spot for a DD to go. Looks like we're going to be eating one Mayhunt Torp. They're not the most damaging in the world. But it still hurts. Pops damage control. Ooh, this Charles actually took a huge hit. So we'll go there. Hmm. Yeah, that radar doesn't last particularly long, does it? <laughs> Alright, well, you will, we will turn out. I kind of just have to here. Took a big hit there again. Must have been Charnorse or something. Okay, gun's working. There we go. But you see how we're just, like, entirely lost the whole bottom half of the map here. Uh, it's a situation where we just can't afford to be passive, even though we're the lowest tier ship in this game. Uh, it's, you still have to make a play every once in a while. Fortunately, we don't have Hydro. Oof, that dispersion. No Hydro here means, yeah, we're we're in a bit of trouble if the Mayhan torps us again. Again? Wow, we're missing that Charnors completely. But we are at least reasonably maneuverable. Sharnorst has another shot on us. It's got HE though. It's not the biggest deal. Illinois is on us here. 
But you can see how like having good maneuverability here means an Illinois has a really tough time hitting us a lot of the time. Trying to help out on the man here. Oh, okay, we got a bug right now. Good. Glad that's still in the game. It's only been like six months or more. <laughs> Where your guns don't shoot. Hey, we hit him anyway. Nice. So the the bug didn't affect us that much, but could have could have gone better. Actually, I didn't realize, but our Ruprecht is like ultra aggressive here. That's really good. So it's taken a lot of the pressure off of us. We need to come in and support him if we can. Minnesota is kind of hanging out broadside. We really should just try and help get the DD off of our Ruprecht. They are only man torps, but they add up. Pop damage controls, that kind of thing. Don't really want that. Minnesota accelerating. Do want to deal with that. You know, it might work out here. Wow, that dispersion. It might work out here a little bit, considering we're very clumped up. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Uh, the timing on that one is pretty good. That's pretty good timing. Okay, Illinois still wants us. Not great. Maneuverability again, we're going to have to use that to our advantage. To avoid Illinois, but also the Minnesota here. Ruprecht should get the DD now. That's nice. The reason I'm focusing this Minnesota is he's a pretty big target, so hopefully our shells land and maybe our team can kind of burst this guy down a little bit, potentially. Could help on the cruiser here for now. Having fast turret traverse like this, um, sure the caliber is pretty low, but the turret traverse being fast is very nice for adapting to whatever situation you're in. Okay, not great damage, but try again. He's stuck on the border now. We'll have to wait for this island up. Where here-ish? Try that. Okay, I found the Minnesota. I mean, charging that is a little sketchy. Again, not very good damage. That thing does have a citadel, I know. Played it in a little bit of testing, and it definitely has a citadel. Kind of hoping our team is going to do something against him there. Good. All right, we are now leading the charge for our team. <laughs> uh, not a position I necessarily want to be in, especially into a Minnesota. He's gearing up to shoot us. Kind of tell. 9k is really good there. I'm also, at the moment, just thinking about the planes. Don't want to get struck by those bombers. Wow, he's not even looking at us. All right. It's good for us. Turning into a Void Amagi. Maneuverability helping us a lot here. Nice. Minnesota goes down. Take a look at the Amagi next. Look at us go. Even in... I mean, there's a lot of tier 8s and 7s here too, but... It's not bad, considering the matchmaker. We are getting ignored a little bit more than normal, maybe? Okay, Illinois is on us now. That's fine. Because what we'll do is we'll wait for the Amagi to shoot. Which he missed. And then we'll turn to hopefully avoid the Illinois salvos here. Magi's got a 30 second reload. And it looks like Illinois is actually gonna run behind the island, which is weird, but because he just like out DPMs us for free here. But it does allow me to get into some cover from him and then also hopefully avoid the um, follow up Amagi salvo. I'm actually gonna rep that even. It's a greedy repair, but Illinois is behind the island from us. Island cover, man. Gotta use it. Nice. Ruprex around. Azumo's around. Solved, sir. Try 
and finish a cruiser here. Well, the Amagi's getting crushed as well. Ah, Dispersion got us again. We're acting as a pretty decent distraction. Our, our tier 9 here that's much more valuable is uh, not taking much fire. You know, this, this cruiser here not looking at us is kind of nice for that. It's allowed some of our stronger ships to stay alive some of the time. Okay, we'll try one more, and then we got to look at this Illinois here. At close ranges, you do have to worry about the AP on the Illinois. Got a little damage in, that's kind of nice. But here we do have torpedoes to our advantage. But we could take some chunks. Ooh, hello. Mr. Enterprise. Try there. Stop running! Come back! <laughs> Fight me! Fight me! Oh, you're HE. Only Illinois. Okay. Sure. I mean, he would just absolutely annihilate me with, with AP, but whatever. We'll use our rep there. Secondary's just gonna annihilate him. Main gun's in, feeling good. Try and dodge the bombs, maybe. Okay, not too bad, actually. I'm always gonna try and stay behind him, is the idea here. Trying to avoid these bombs. Oh, he used AP. What? I didn't think he had that in his tool belt. Alrighty. And we managed to get him. <laughs> he kills me so free there with armor piercing. <laughs> hey, 132. Look at us go, man. We haven't activated uh, Luchins in this one yet. That's kind of sweet. Uh, I feel like we're dead to the carrier, though. But we won this one somehow. That seems kind of ridiculous that we gave up a lot of the map and we managed to win it still. I'll take it though. Synop, unfortunately, AFK. That might have turned the game for them. It's possible. You know, tier 7 battleship can do quite a bit. Um. But yeah, AFK unfortunate. I think it was also a 11v11 in this one. Not quite a full game. There we go. We found the carrier. We might even be able to kill the carrier before this one is out. <laughs> yeah, the AP not, uh, not the strongest there. Go after the carrier instead. A little softer body. Synop's got just so much armor against us. Oh, wait. <laughs> I guess we'll land a little low. Synop is dead already. But Enterprise should go down here. Izumo is just going to absolutely destroy him, right? 141, though, into tier 9? Pretty dang good. Wait, Synop's here? Wait. He's got a heal. Oh no, it's Kuznetsov. Oh, he's got the commander, right? Yeah, he's got the commander. <laughs> it's like, how is he healing? Why isn't he using his guns? Here he does come back after us, but how many abilities decent here? It is a bunch of free damage, but it doesn't matter at this point, fortunately. And he missed, wow. How do you miss a battleship? That's crazy. We do get him as a team. Zuma does. Very nice. 144. Sharn Horse doing things. What is this? 2017? What's going on here? I'll take it, though. Even top score into that one. Yeah, our rubric, our rubric definitely put in some work. And a Zumo, too. Having them push up with us uh, certainly helped a ton. They could have just sat at the back. And uh, things would not have gone nearly as well as they did. But they didn't. And I am grateful because that allowed the push to work out there. Sharnhorse 2023 still can be fun. 
Got to get the right matchmaker and some good teammates along your side as well. So, again, let me know what you want to see next uh, in the comments down below. Ship requests. I will play whatever's most upvoted. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and have a great rest of your day.